We're here with Ronnie Apteker, the entrepreneur behind the new movie material. Ronnie, tell us a bit about what you're trying to achieve with this movie. Well, we're trying to make something, Duncan, that moves people and makes people laugh and cry. I don't think I actually finished this uh, <laughs> point outside. We know we're going to entertain people, but whether we move them, that's the challenge. And uh, if we do that, um, then the movie will work. If we don't do that, if you watch the movie and laugh and cry, we're going to win. And if you laugh and don't cry, then I'm going to cry. Does that make sense? It does. <laughs> because I'm going to cry, because it won't. It'll be a charming film, but we need to move the audience. Just like a, a Rocky or a Billy Elliot or a Full Monty. Those films packed an emotional punch and they had something relevant to say about following the dream and about having purpose. Okay, now te technology has obviously changed the filmmaking business quite dramatically over the last 10 years. You've made a lot of movies, I presume some of them film based as well. But this movie is being shot, with, shot in HD on digital. How has that changed the filmmaking process for you? Uh, you know, it hasn't changed the filmmaking process in the sense that ultimately it's all about the story and the characters. So while the technology might allow you to do certain things and not do certain things, um, it is all about the script. I mean, you're a writer, um, but you still have to be inspired to write. You know, even if the word processor got so fancy that it, uh, you just looked at the keyboard and started typing, you still have to have something to say, which you do. So even if the keyboards get fancy and fancy and fancy and the computers can save that data faster and faster and faster, I mean, hey Duncan, have you ever used a typewriter? Was that before your time? That was before my time. But, uh, but you know what I'm trying to say. So, so, so journalists who've been around for, say, 60 years, and there are some of them, you know some of them, mm -hmm. who went from typewriters to computers, at the end of the day, inspiration and purpose still sits at the key. So even if the technology allows you to do magic on a screen, that magic is, is underpinned by fundamentals. And the fundamentals is the script, the talent, and like I said earlier, luck. Because without luck, you know, all bets are off. So Does it make it easier, though, to, to create films, or is it still a, lot, a compli complex process? The digital technology is just a new format. It's not, it's not, well, it's not changing started, the whole... This film's on its eighth year. Wow. And I don't know how digital... Uh, I mean, you know some of my shtick, the progress paradox. I mean, technology is always meant to save us time, but fine enough, as we get some more and more sophisticated, we seem to have less time. So even though we have faster word processors, iPads, cool technology, digital cameras, and we can shoot stuff across the Atlantic, like Vincent Ibrahim, and look at his photos here in South Africa, and I don't have to fly there, you know, and like we can actually like cast people over a network because, you know, the internet plays a big role in this stuff. You can actually cast people remotely because by having them come in and video conferencing, at the end of the day, it's still all underpinned by passion and inspiration, which is nothing to do with digital. So that script took us seven years. You know, uh, uh, and even though we've got cutting edge word processors and laptops and iPads and video conferencing for casting, if the script was crap, uh, and I say this part with extreme confidence, the script is the best piece of screenwriting. I mean, Craig Frymont has delivered here with the help of Vincent and Riyad and, and quite a few people actually deserve uh, credit here. Uh, I played a role in it. Robbie, I mean, uh, quite a bit of the talent. Uh, um, uh, um, there's, there's a long list of people and we're going to run out of time. Um, that will be credited in the film. But um, he's delivered a world-class piece of work. We've got the best talent that we could find, you know. Riyad is the inspiration and the lead man. And I think the girls are going to swoon when they see him because he's beautiful and lovable and he's just Riyad. He's, he's the guy that inspired the film. Um, I, I think that the fundamentals are strong. But uh, digital has allowed us to make the film uh, um, with new parameters, not necessarily cheaper, but we can work a bit faster, we can shoot more coverage. We're not burning like Kodak film, so we can shoot more footage each day, not worry about the shooting ratio costs of every time you shot action and rolls on a Panavision camera with Kodak film start, it costs you, I don't know how many dollars a second, because you're burning like, you know, feats of film. Now we, as, as Chris said, we've got gigabytes of data, and the, as you know, storage space is very cheap. Um, so digital has allowed us to have a bit more freedom and flexibility, but if the script's junk and the performances are bad and luck's not on our side, you know, we could have super IMAX 70mm uh, film stock that won't make a difference. You know? Great. Well, good luck with the movie, Ronnie, and uh, look forward to seeing Can it. Can I also just say one last thing? Of course. Hi, Mom. So, <laughs> my mom was worried about me because she says, you know, you go to work at four in the morning. I said, look, it's only one month. She said, but you've been working on it for so many years. I said, but this part's not so intense. Uh, this part's the most intense, and then it will become less intense again. So, hi, Mom, and uh, Duncan's looking after me. I said, don't worry. <laughs> I'll pass on the message. Thanks, Ronnie.